We're looking for innovators. Child neurology is a challenging and wonderful career field built for thinkers, built for dynamic uh, individuals, and UNC really embodies that vision where you see each of our um, staff have what it takes to lead their field and bring on exactly what is needed for their patients here and use those new and innovative tools and, and harness them for our patients' good. And those are the residents that come because they see that and they embody that themselves here. It's in a very pleasant, kind, collaborative environment where people can choose their path choose what interests them and kind of take it um, with, with mentors that are here to, to help everyone to find what they like to do and, and develop in that field. I did my residency here. I left her fellowship. Then I'm back here as an assistant professor. What occurred to me during my time away and during the job search was the uniqueness of the, of the program here. I didn't realize how specialized the training is. Uh, at, at UNC, the focus really is on the trainees. Trainees are not used as a stopgap to complete work or to fulfill projects for attendees. And so that time can really be afforded to the trainees to shape their education the way that each trainee sees fit. We really try to value that they learn to become independent providers in the middle of their training, not just at the end of it and we value asking them to take the lead in trying to do the research that's needed to get the patients what they need. So UNC attracts really great people um, and uh, the kind of people uh, who, who want to uh, care for all the children of North Carolina that want to make sure that they all get great care. Um, the kind of people that uh, I want to work with and learn from. So that's what attracted me here uh, for residency and that's what has kept me here now. One of the unique things about UNC is that we're the hospital for the entire state. So we see a very diverse population. We have patients come from all 100 counties of the state, regardless of their ability to pay. We see all patients and treat them equally. We strive to treat all patients equally, and that is one of the missions of the hospital and the missions of our program. A lot of the things that we have to train for are rare diseases. We see patients from this huge area, and so we have the opportunity for seeing those one in a million cases that we need to learn about because we're pooling from such a large population. You see such a variety and all the attendings, they help you adapt to each situation because it's, it's kind of overwhelming at first. You're like, okay, this is ICU, then this is this patient, this is this patient. But I think the attendings do a really good job kind of, you know, getting you to just focus and zone in on what you really need to pay attention to. What I hope to do for the Department of Neurology at UNC, what the base of my vision is, is to try to increase the ability of this department to serve the people of North Carolina with their needs for neurology care. I have a um, younger sister with Down syndrome, and when I was 11, she was nine at the time, she was going through these periods where she was having kind of seizure-like activity. Um, and to see your little sister go through that was a really scary thing. Um, so she had EEGs, MRIs done, and I'm really grateful for it now because I sat in that room with that pediatric neurologist and I don't know if he could tell how scared I was or something in him told him to show me the MRI, show me the EEG, explain what was going on. And that really meant a lot to me being in that position and seeing everything that my sister went through. And so as I thought about it, first of all, that was the first time I'd ever seen an image of the brain and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. Um, but on top of that, I wanted to be able to give back and do that for families, be that guidance, be that reassurance for families that were going through such a hard time. They do rotate at our outlying hospitals at Wake Med um, in Raleigh and Moses Cone um, in Greensboro as well. So aren't just at the tertiary care center, but see what a child neurology practice can be like at a community hospital, not just at the academic center. And I think that gives them uh, important perspective of what their role can be and what their career can be in the future. I always felt like I could, there was someone I could reach out to for everything, whether it's other residents, whether it's the 
faculty or our coordinators, both on the PED side and the neurology side, are fantastic. Um, attendings have been super happy to take their time to walk through what's going on, so I can call up anybody from any team and they'll take a few minutes and I'm, if I say I don't know what this diagnosis means, they'll help to explain it to me. If I don't know how to interpret uh, something from radiology, they're happy to walk me through it. There's no levels, there's no verticality. It's a very horizontal style of training and a very horizontal style of providing patient care. By the time you finish your two years in pediatrics, you're such a skilled clinician. You have the confidence that you know how to do things, you know how to approach things. Before we decided where we wanted to go to re for residency, my wife and I, we were just, we, we knew that we wanted to be around people that felt a lot more like family and a lot less like colleagues. When I was driving home um, from interview day, um, and I just realized that it was, I wanted to spend more time here. I don't know if I, if I have a great um, way to articulate that feeling, but it just felt like I, like I missed the program already and I hadn't even been a part of it. We do a lot of things together. Like we just, we hang out, we're a tight knit group. Every year we have a picnic at Dr. Shiloh's house and that's always fun. We go and bring our kids, go swimming at her house and all the attendings come. So you get to meet all the attendings and get introduced to them and hang out with them, get to know them. Whenever I first started my first year, I really didn't know anybody here, but Caitlin always would invite me to things, invite me to her house. She was always very nice to um, make me feel included. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to present our program to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and we'll put you in touch with residents or with faculty and we look forward to hearing from you.